So in reminding myself that this project is small, I come to a place where the world is huge and it puts everything in perspective. It is 8.30 at night. We are leaving to Depos Land to Splendor Omnia. So Jen will do her THX, her mixing. She's going to the stage. Mountains south of Mexico City mixing stage. Yep. The beautiful country. I'm a country girl, so I'm actually really excited about this. We're going to a cosmic place. Yes. I have to watch it, go to the next one, go to this one, go to that one, go to that, and like be in that mood. <laughs> well, you know, you're a, you're further ahead than most directors. And you're right, to, to this week, let's do the sound and let's get the image ready and let's enjoy the week because yeah. we have been pushing. Yeah, we've been pushing. But when you go back to the States, do you feel pressure? Yes. A little, a little bit more. You get more stressed. In the States, yeah. yeah. I feel it when I go back. Yeah. It hits. It's yeah. like this energy of uh, stress over the country. Yeah. All right, so it's the first day of mixing here at Splendor in this mixing stage. <laughs> the key master. The whole, yeah. The stage. I'm the key master and the gatekeeper. <laughs> we have a challenge, you know? Five days. We have is... a challenge. Uh, the idea is. <laughs> We have a hundred minutes to work on. We have five days. On Friday, it's going to be a really long day. So be prepared for that. Okay. All right. Long day, uh, days. My days don't end. Uh, <laughs> for the last three years. Yeah, days. well, I know you're already used to it. Yeah. Hey, hey, esperemos ya ese día, ese día en la vida. Esperemos ya en la calle que puedan jugar. I am happier than I've been in a lo really, really, really long time because I just actually haven't been very happy lately. And the food here is amazing. The peace is amazing. The sun. I'm right in it. Well, we finished dialogues yesterday. We we're starting with the rest of the elements. Luckily, we'll do uh, between 25 to 30 minutes. Carlos worked really hard, and I listened and did some other things. Let him work and talks to him every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> so now is the day that I'm going to have uh, undivided attention from him. So, yes. I mean, I love the opinions that Carlos has too. Like, I like working with people who have opinions. The more opinions, the better. And like, you know, if I say something that he doesn't like, he'll tell me he doesn't like it. I, I can't make the best thing just by myself. And you're open to them too, which helps. Yeah, yeah. I'm open. I ask for that. I'm like, please argue. Like, I might sound headstrong about things sometimes, but it doesn't mean I don't want to hear the opposite. Not to critique it for the film that you would have made, no, but to appreciate like what the artist is doing. Step out of what you would want to do. To say look at it from the Yes. And to me, this is one of those dare to dream what you cannot imagine moments. Because I would have never imagined when I started this project that I'd end up in the mountains in Mexico sound mixing the movie. Which is why I have had no hopes, goals, or specific thoughts of what's going to happen with this movie. I'm following it. And I have followed it here. I'm only doing a week of sound design because that's all I have the money for. So. Sound mixing. Sound mixing. Sound mixing. <laughs> How was your sleep? Sleep is good. My, my bed at home is too soft. So when I'm in Los Angeles, I always have back problems, and I realize when I travel, my back problems go away. So I need a new bed, but I can't afford a new bed. So I've been thinking I should start sleeping on the floor. Really nice. We made it. Uh, we are at the end of the credits. Yeah. Thank you for caring so much and thank you for all your detail. So that means that we're not gonna eat dinner for like another two hours? Yes. That's okay with you? That's okay with me. Okay. Yeah, I'd rather, I'd rather- yeah, just get going? Yes, because we still have a long way. We may have to make another two hours of corrections, at least. After working all week, we are calling sound locked. So after this whole process, we are finished with the sound mix, kind of. It's our final watch through. I'm gonna take notes. Carlos and I are gonna have dinner after that and talk about everything, have a glass of wine, and then come back and just work on whatever we have the patience and energy to work on. And by the end of tonight, the sound mix will be finished.
yo me encuentro solito si no te tengo a mi lado y ahora que so it's 1 a.m. Uh, we screened the movie. It sounds great. It's really exciting. However, I think I was trying to cram too much into one week. So we're going to rearrange some things and I'm going to stay over the weekend. And on Monday, Carlos and I are going to spend a final day on it. You know, after three years of almost two and a half years, like, I'm not going to rush the end. And I'm going to leave this beautiful place for the for the weekend and come back on Monday um, and and uh, go stay in the town look for an Airbnb or a hotel and but I am gonna need wine Volare. Sueño parecido no volverá más Y me pintaba la mano y la cara de azul Y de aprovechar el viento rápido me llevo Y me echó ir a volar en el cielo infinito Volar oh. These are the quiet moments You sit with where you are When you work so hard on something a lot of it's like for the future And then you have these moments where you're in this moment, right? So I have this weekend this is one of those times when, you know, it gets a little lonely. I'm staying at a place that has breakfast, and so you sit and have breakfast in the morning with all the other guests, and like every single other guest is a couple. So just always kind of confronted pretty much like an outsider of humanity. Like I don't feel like an outsider, like I'm an American in Mexico, or I'm an outsider to the human race. Honestly. Pienso que un sueño para sí, no volverá más. Which which we all are, right? I mean, because we're all trying to just continuously um, fit in to these rules in the society that there's no way it can guide all of our needs, wants, habits, instincts. So how do we feel normal or feel okay with ourselves? Oh.